According to the laws of indices, any number you raise to the power of zero will give you one, provided that that number is not equal to zero. This is what I mean. If zero is raised to the power of zero, this is undefined. But apart from zero, any number you take and raise it to the power of zero, the output will be one. So in this tutorial, we want to prove that logically. Let me use two as a key study here. Two to the power of zero should be equal to one. So but we want to prove this logically. Remember, if you have two to the power of two, two to the power of two is the same thing as two multiplied by two, which is equal to four. What about two to the power of three? Two to the power of three is the same thing as two times two, four times two, eight, right? This is eight. Two to the power of four. Two times two, four times two, eight times two, 16. This is 16. Let me take the last one. Two to the power of five. Two times two, four times two, eight times two, 16 times two, 32. So this is 32. What do you observe here? If I should divide 32 by 2, it will give me 16. If I divide 16 by 2, it will give us 8. Divide 8 by 2, it will give us 4. Okay. What if I have 2 to the power of 1 and also 2 to the power of 0? What will this give us? If we divide 4 by 2, it will give us 2. What if we divide 2 by 2? It will give us the number here. 2 divided by 2 is 1. All right, so 2 to the power of 0 is 1. Hence, we have proven that any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1 logically at all if that number is not equal to 0. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.